Nobody loves us. Nobody seems to care. Mm, nobody. Nobody seems to care. That love the trouble, y'all. I've had my share. We had our share. <laughs> oh, Lord. Everyone enjoys making a little music now and then, whether they play a guitar, sing along, or just keep time. But what about those who have nothing but time to kill? Prison life can be as stark and uncompromising as the cinder block and barbed wire that form its walls. Behind those walls, loneliness and boredom all too often find release through racial strife and senseless killings. The prison inmate soon discovers he's trapped emotionally as well as physically in a system that favors confinement without rehabilitation. This is the California Medical Facility at Vacaville, a medium security prison that houses approximately 3,000 inmates. Vacaville is helping prisoners to better cope with their situation through the Musicians and Performing Arts Association. The program allows them to improve their musical talents, but more importantly, inmates get the chance to improve their communication skills, something that can help them succeed when they return to the outside world. If you want to get down to, to just the basics, it's kind of like a brotherhood. You know, everybody in here in this, in this one institution, uh, whether you're black, white, or purple, you know, and when we come down here, it's, it's all about uh, music, and that's it. It's kind of a, a valve, a release valve for all our pressure. We can come down here and get into our music and forget about everything that's happening out there. It's like music or art is the only way that we can express emotions inside. And this is a creative uh, medium to bring out those emotions. Vacaville's head administrator, J.H. Marquez, supports the Musicians Association. The program can help defuse the explosive situations among inmates whose crimes range from passing bad checks to murder. It uh, keeps people occupied doing things that they like to do, that we encourage and that in, in effect uh, keeps them from doing other things that we don't want them to do uh, that might get them in trouble or us in trouble. You cannot really express yourself on the main line. If you do in a sense, you have to do it what do you think is best. Like if you want to pick up a knife or pick up a, you know, a weapon or a pipe or anything, but with this group we're with and everything, all of us learn to talk with each other. about uh, maybe uh, people outside or the things we feel about being in here, like maybe a love song to your old lady or uh, uh, a song about your brothers that you miss on the street. Uh, in my case, I write music kind of about uh, the biker lifestyle. I got the key. provide uh, occupation for themselves while here, but they provide uh, entertainment for other inmates too that uh, may, may attend these uh, sessions. A few months back we played for the green side. Everybody was over there yelling and clapping and carrying on and it was like, you know, we really felt good. Like we was really, a little freedom, I guess what you might call. When we play our music, it's like a little freedom to us. All of us love music. Each and every one of us is trying to learn to get in tune with each other. It gives a good incentive for the prisoner to strive to better himself, to 
be more creative, which is benefited for the whole community, society as a whole. It's the best therapy, I think, that this institution has to offer. Take it here, real slow now. Yay! Not but a party.